पोल ऑफ द स्फेरिकल मिरर द सेंटर ऑफ द रिफ्लेक्टिंग सर्फेस ऑफ अ स्फेरिकल मिरर इज कॉल्ड द पोल इट इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय द लेटर पी सेंटर ऑफ कर्वेचर द रिफ्लेक्टिंग सर्फेस ऑफ अ स्फेरिकल मिरर इज अ पार्ट ऑफ अ स्फियर द सेंटर ऑफ स्फियर ऑफ विच द रिफ्लेक्टिंग सर्फेस ऑफ अ स्फेरिकल मिरर इज अ पार्ट इज नोन एज सेंटर ऑफ कर्वेचर इट इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय द लेटर सी सेंटर ऑफ कर्वेचर इज नॉट अ पार्ट ऑफ द मिरर इट लाइज outside its reflecting surface in case of concave mirror it lies in front of the mirror but in case of convex mirror it lies behind the mirror radius of curvature it is the radius of sphere of which the reflecting surface of a spherical mirror is a part it is represented by the letter r principal axis a straight line passing through the pole and center of curvature of a spherical mirror is known as the principal axis principal axis is perpendicular to the mirror at pole principal focus when incident rays to the spherical mirror are parallel to the principal axis the reflected rays either actually intersect or appear to intersect at a point on principal axis the point of intersection is known as principal focus it is represented by the letter f case 1 concave mirror when incident rays to the concave mirror are parallel to the principal axis the reflected rays will actually intersect at principal focus case 2 convex mirror when incident rays to the convex mirror are parallel to the principal axis the reflected rays appear to intersect at principal focus principal focus is the midpoint of line segment joining pole and center of curvature of the mirror distance between pole and principal focus of the spherical mirror is known as focal length of the mirror numerically focal length is half of the radius of curvature